I don't see a level of seriousness. I don't see, and I don't see a level of what? Wait, listen. I don't see like I don't see his character has really changed. To me, he's like Goku. I'm being dead serious. He is like Goku. Him That's and wild. Goku. Him and Goku are the same level of character development to me. <laughs> wow. I'm being serious. But but That's but wild. I also don't think it's a problem. I also don't think it's a problem. I'm on my I'm on my, I'm on my soapbox, people. So mm, sorry, you're gonna have to you, listen. You to definitely me. are. I keep going. So <laughs> fight, 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 lose, lose, come back. I can do it. Willpower. I'm gonna free them. I'm just gonna will it, and then it will be in, come into an existence. And that sometimes does happen. And that's just an M- MC trope. Mm-hmm. But with regards to saying he has no character development, I think his time with Rayleigh really showed us his character development. This man was crying. This man was bawling his eyes out. And he had to get over that. He had to, you know, grow as an individual, overcome in order to be the leader he needed to be in the post um, time skip world. That's what I would say. Okay. 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 I agree with him. I agree with him. I agree. I agree. What? I you agree. don't think he has character development? I don't think he has much. No. I don't think he has much. You don't think the Rayleigh um, no. saga? No. no. I just think... What? That's, that, I don't think that's... A, I, think, I don't think that's... that's. I don't think that is... Um, I think there is... He's definitely learnt and he's learnt to deal with grief, but I do not think that he's he's got... That That doesn't mean... That doesn't mean I would say that he's a, he's a, he's had good character growth. Like, has he got to different gears? Of course. Does he learn things? Yeah, but has he fundamentally... So then we need to define what character development is then. Okay, well then let's go back to his email. Let's use his definition. Let's use Dr. Raman's, okay? Let's use Kev's definition because mm. he stopped... That's, that's, that's why I like Kev, all right? <laughs> He's, he framed the conversation well. He wasn't just talking from nowhere. He framed it. So let's go no, back. No, he did. Let's, he definitely did. Let's, let's not use our definition. Let's use Kev's, all right? Let's go back. <clears throat> Character development is defined well, in his. This is Kev's, all right? This is the, yeah, we can yeah, talk yeah. about ours, but let's talk about Kev. What Kev used. Kev, uh, character development is defined as the traits an individual has that will help guide their behavior, such as values, ethics, and morality. What guides Luffy? Freedom, etc., etc., etc. So the point that he's making here. Let's just go back and just summarize Kev's point because obviously it was a long, it was a long, uh, long document, well written. But again, let's just talk about it, summarize it. What Kev's point is is that. Luffy has his 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 driving force, which is freedom, hasn't changed, and it has. It, whenever it's challenged, it's never changed, regardless of what's happened to him. That that's fundamental drive for Luffy hasn't changed. There's nothing that he's never he's never been caused to question it. He's never been caused to reflect on it. He's never been he's never been he's never faced a scenario where he's had to actually sit down and think: Is this the right approach that I'm taking? It does every single time. It's just, I'm the same old Luffy. It's the same old drive. Now, a couple of things. One, if we use that definition as the fundamental drive, and you can say that he's never changed, you could argue, but then loads of anime characters haven't changed. Tons of anime characters haven't changed because you could take Goku. He hasn't really changed, and we would say that. Nope. Naruto again. He hasn't really nope. changed. He has. He has, He's always wanted to. He's always been driven by a Hokage. sense of your know, Hokage and a sense of community. He's always yep. been driven by a sense of community. Yep. Um, and um, and you could see, you could see that growth, right? Now, what I think he's referring to is that there is never Luffy hasn't experienced the drive same. And you could. You, I don't think you can fairly say that that's a reason for poor character. Or, or poor character growth so i don't think i think it's i think it's unfair to say that because luffy's underlying drive hasn't changed he's had poor character development however i do think luffy as a character it does me it is it's also equally fair to say that he hasn't really he's never really had uh, a scenario where his his personality or his character he's had to reflect or kind of like just think about his his actions so for example let me use an example deku 
Deku coming to terms with the fact that he has been given this this power and then struggling to to re- realize that this power also means that the people closest to him are going to get hurt so as a result he then thinks okay i'm gonna have to i have to do all of this by myself and pushes his friends away and then has to realize that okay i was on the right path but i have to then he was then dealt and faced with that realization that okay actually as a character or as as an individual sorry i need to think about is this the right thing for me to do like self-doubt that questioning himself like really i have to you know, i have to I have to face that another is another person is is um uh um itachi and sasuke both went through character growth like uh, that sasuke realized was driven by literally just i want to kill itachi and then being faced with something that would completely change and rock that previous pre that preconception and then you have to think about okay what do i do now itachi being faced with that decision the greater good for my clan or the greater good for my village and then being faced to make a decision and then <laughs> all those memes about yeah that's why he was ill because he's dealing with the ramifications and the stress of making that decision so all these things and even even certain and the talk no jutsu all the villains go through some sort of realization that maybe this wasn't the wrong thing for me to do so there are plenty of examples where you where you see and you hear characters being faced with am i making the right decision and luffy has never had that luffy has never been faced with have i made the right decision never he, he's he's just been like no this is what i'm doing now our definition mm. our definition of poor character development my put my the way i kind of understand it with luffy is that for me as i luffy hasn't i don't think i don't see much growth as an as a as a person i don't see a level of seriousness i don't and i don't see a level of what wait listen i don't see like i don't see his character has really changed to me he's like goku i'm being dead serious he is like goku him and goku him and goku are the same level of character development to me (laughs) wow i'm being serious but but that's wild i also don't think it's a problem I also don't think it's a problem. I'm on my I'm on my, I'm on my soapbox, people. So mm, sorry, you're gonna have to you, listen. You to definitely me. are. I keep going. <laughs> so, I I watched an interview with Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan, if you don't know, he's the director who did the Dark Knight trilogy with uh, Christian Bale and um, uh, what's the Joker? Heath Ledger. Rest in peace. Now he did that trilogy. He. They were talking about the characters and how he decided to portray certain characters. And he didn't want to create a origin story for the Joker. He didn't want to create an origin story for the Joker. Because what he wanted to do, and I think I mentioned this before on a podcast, he wanted to portray the Joker, Heath Ledger's character. He wanted to portray the character and almost make it seem like there is this, he is almost like a force of nature. He is an element he is not even natural he just is there is nothing there is no changing his viewpoint there is no i can talk to him there is no rationalization it is just him and it's almost like okay so what do you do when you have somebody that is so ingrained on so um demonstrative as just as as a as an idea as a concept of anarchy and chaos what do you do when there is there is no rationalization there is no oh i'm like this way because my mum was mean to me or my dad hit me no no the the joker is <laughs> that's the statement the joker is he is just like that i think luffy's the same there is no i don't think the whole point of luffy is to be like this deep character the point of luffy is to be the symbol of freedom there is nothing else to it it's not about luffy growing it's not about luffy being like this deep and introspective person it's not about him saying you know what i remember i remember that i remember and oh i have to deal with this this self-doubt and this inner conflict that's not luffy it's got nothing luffy is not that there's go for other mcs main characters if you want to see that luffy is just the symbol of freedom so the the I, I don't actually see it as a bad thing but it means that, that i accept that luffy when i when i think about luffy as a main character i just i don't see him as like oh i'm good what am i gonna learn from luffy or 
how deep is Luffy going to be this time? And there is no talk, no jutsu. It's just, I'm just, I just am. I am freedom. And so anything that is against that, I'm going to, I'm going to push back on that. Anything that takes away somebody else's freedom, I'm going to be against that. He doesn't care whether or not it's pirates or, to be honest, in a weird way, he's not even really a pirate. He's, they're just their own weird crew that just does what they want, which is to Dr. Raman's point, freedom. So he doesn't change. So he's not, I don't think he's ever going to question that. And so the only thing that I think he cares about the same way he cares about freedom is his friends. And so if anything does hurt his loved ones, he then feels that. So which is why the big two emotional beats that you see in Luffy's character, Sabody Archipelago and Marineford, are all about the separation between who? Him and his friends or family. That's that's it. Apart from that, yeah, you gonna there's no no villain is gonna be like cause him to question. No, why? No. This that's not his character. That's not his character. So for me, I don't see, apart from that, I can't sit here and say, okay, yeah, Luffy's developed a whole lot and he's he's actually far more deeper than he was before. No, he's not. But do you have to be deep to no, be developed? Not. No, you don't. But he, you can't tell me he's developed. There's nothing, he, there's no progress in his character as an individual, is there? Like, what is he, what is he, what is he? I think there is. In what? I think he's not become a much wise. better leader. What, what, no, actually, I think much? he's become a much better leader. He's done the same thing since the since since would you call it Arlong's Park? I will do it since the same since Arlong Park where he took his hat off and put it on Nami's head. Since the same time when mm. um, Water Seven when he, he told a told a grown woman <laughs> Robin, tell me that you want to be free. Go and say it. Yeah, say yeah, it, yeah. and then I'll come. He's done the same thing. How has he changed? Like how? I from a leader perspective post- how. From a post time skip perspective, yes, he is the first one to essentially, you know, jump in. But I think he trusts his crew a, a lot more. I don't think so. Um, he's done that from he's done that from drop. Nani? Well, I say maybe not trust his, but I think nah, actually not trust. I think he, actually then again, I was going to say maybe he doesn't he, he doesn't put them in danger when he doesn't. Have you to, know he, he knows, does. He, he know he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, person no, that no, was no, enforcing no. the crew was Zoro. Remember that time when Luke, when what you call it, when um, when Usopp was about to leave the crew because he disagreed with the going memory. It wasn't, it wasn't what you call it. It wasn't Luffy that enforced that. That was Zoro. Zoro's like, yo, 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 hold up a second. You're not gonna talk smack and you think you're just gonna get back on the ship, you know? That ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> So what? Look, character development apparently is the is this is what the um, the definition of screenwriters who did uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Stranger Things. Okay, fine. So Let's character, use that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll trust that. Character yeah, development yeah. is the process of creating fully formed fictional characters. Developed fully characters formed. have essential characteristics like a name, a physical appearance, specific character traits, and a backstory or character yeah. bio. Yep. They also have features that make them come alive, like well-defined personality traits, strong points of view, focused desires and fears, and a character mm-hmm. arc, or a trajectory of of change throughout the te- throughout the story. Okay. So, based on that, oh, it's just good character development is a foundational principle, compelling piece of writing. Blah blah blah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So, based on that, we know that a trajectory of change throughout the story, Luffy has not changed. You're right. Yeah. I think you and Dr. Ramin are completely right about that. However, if we are taking other definitions or other mm. traits of character mm. de- development, I would say that Luffy is definitely someone who has uh, features things. that make yeah, them yeah, yeah. has features that make him come alive. Mm-hmm. He he definitely has a well defined personality. Mm-hmm. He definitely has a strong point of view. Mm-hmm. He has focused desires and fears, losing his mm-hmm. friends, mm-hmm. and he has a character arc. Okay. So we see his journey in terms of I want to get stronger. Okay, from a strength perspective, he has growth. So maybe not development in terms of his character. So maybe you're right. Maybe Dr. Raman is right. I think um if we I think again it's that conversation we had uh regarding what was it versus ah uh, I forgot okay. the name of the I know what you're talking about, but do you know what I mean? Me, was yeah, it let the, me, um, yeah. Character development then, versus character growth or something like that. Was, yeah, I think I can't like remember. That. We had this yeah. conversation, but I think okay. character development is the umbrella and everything. A lot of things fall under it. So I think okay. that's where it Fine. gets a bit difficult because 
yes, Luffy may not necessarily have changed in terms of his opinions or his uh, ethics or his morals. However, he has definitely grown as a person, whether yes. it be strength, uh, mostly it will be strength. No, so, yeah, okay, okay. So that's the he's issue. He's definitely grown. That's the issue. It's vice. That's the issue, though. So if we use that, use it, is Luffy. But a then you say that most MCs. That, no, that's what I said. I'm fair. No, I'm, Sorry, yeah, I was just totally, saying. Yeah, go, 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 go. No, I was just going to say most uh, main characters have that. It's that um, unwillingness, that stubbornness, that one single mindedness that kind of is their, is their North Star, is what gets them through the hurt, the heartache. Naruto wanted to be Hokage. Uh, Luffy wants to be Pirate King. Uh, I don't know what Ichigo wants to be. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he, he ain't no. He, he don't. He has reverse development. <laughs> worst guy just grumpy for no reason. We don't even find out why he's grumpy. Uh, but you know, Deku wants to um, um, be the greatest superhero. So this, these are all, I guess, um, aims or goals that they all have that they don't stray from. So. To then say, you know, actually, I don't want to be Parent King. I just want to chill out, you know, just be on Saudi Arabia, chilling with the bubbles and all that stuff. It's, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's 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 probably a flaw or a, maybe the writers have done it. And we've said this before. A lot of the side characters have character development yeah, because they course. want to. They want to um, because of the struggle, it's almost like. You know the kid who's always smart I think we said this before who's, Who gets the A's and all that stuff And then you're there struggling and stuff like that You're trying to essentially Bridge that gap And to bridge that gap You're going on your own journey Vegeta being a case yeah. in point You know mm -hmm. He's trying to understand well, How does he become a super saiyan Is it right. me? Is it strength? Is it emotions? Is it my um, my my treatment um, When I was a child And Frieza and all that stuff these are all things he's starting to question just to get to the um, level where Goku is. And that's a lot of side characters. So, to summarize what I've just said, you know what, Dr. Ramen, I'll give it to you in a sense where he's had character growth, but yeah, m he's had little to, I wouldn't say no character development, but he's had very little character development. So, I get all of that. It makes complete sense to me. It make, I, I get it. That That's fine. However... The thing that I would say is that, okay, is Luffy, if we use your definition, is Luffy a well-developed... Is, is Luffy a developed character? Fine? Yes. Let's just say that. We're using that definition that you read from Stranger Things and do they have fears and dreams and belief and so on and so. If we use that definition, we can tick yes for all those things with Luffy, right? I think... That, and we had the same conversation before, but has he shown growth from that? I don't think he has. I think the Luffy that we see at the beginning is the same Luffy we see at the end. There's there's not much there's not much different. There isn't that even with I, I think even with, with Naruto, we saw him questioning questioning himself at times, right? We saw him like oh, this is people are gonna get hurt. Like I have to make sure I make the right decision. Or even even something like that, like just showing the the scale of growth. Like mm. Luffy, Luffy doesn't even seem to care that the whole world might just just be destroyed. He's like, <laughs> he doesn't seem to give a damn. He's just literally traveling. Oh, what? What? You can't eat? Uh, who, who, can't, who, who did that? All right, cool. Let me let me go and screw them up. If he makes a decision that would screw up intent, like it, how many decisions has Luffy made that makes life for the other islands worse? <laughs> Do you think Fishman uh, Island are having a good socio-economic time right now? <laughs> They're not. They're not. So basically, Luffy, like you see it on the Reverie. So uh, you, Alabaster, <laughs> all you people, are you on Luffy's side now, right? Because he's a pirate. So I don't think we can trust you right now. <laughs> Or you want protection from the Marines? I don't know if we could do that right now unless you mm. give us more money. He's making life difficult. <laughs> he, he do you know what? You, when you put damn. it that way, yeah, I get it. I see what you mean. He does go into uh, every situation headfirst without thinking. Na Naruto uh, would never do that. Naruto nah, would do. Naruto would true. be like, actually, I need to be 
this might hurt some people. Yeah. And this, this might hurt people. Luffy ain't thinking about... <laughs> oh, yeah, you can be under my flag. It's fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Because... <laughs> It's a problem now, and he's not like Big Mom. He's not like the other Yonko that stay in one place. Where's your Yonko? Yeah, he's, oh, he's, on, he's on the island. He's on. He's on Whole Cake Island. Where's your island? Oh, I'm on. I'm on um, Wano. Where's Luffy? <laughs> I don't know, boy. I, I don't know. Do you know how to get in touch, contact with him? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find. We'll find out in the news. We'll oh find out in the news. goodness! So I don't think. I don't think Luffy has shown any. Uh, any growth and I'm not complaining I'm not here saying that I want to see growth from Luffy I've mm. actually I actually don't I think it's fine to see him as like a force of nature as yeah. the as the beacon of freedom and so it makes sense why everything he does is about I just want to be free I literally just want to be free I don't care about anything else call me don't call me I don't care I just want to be a pirate because it's supposed to be the big freedom and I'm pretty sure his what he wants is to have a big party where everyone can just have fun but he's not actually he doesn't actually care about um about being like collecting power that's not what it is i think what dr Raman is alluding to is that when we get will we not i think he's asking a question will we ever see luffy get to a point where he thinks this freedom thing that i want is it actually the right thing to do oh jet pistol to destroy the next video it's still there though yes but in his mind, it's gone.